Hello friends, welcome to my channel. We have seen in my previous tutorial how to set up Splunk server, today we will be installing Splunk forwarder on the virtual machine and will forward the log files to the previously installed Splunk server. First step is to install wget, which is needed to download the Splunk forwarder. Run the command yum install wget. Go to Splunk.com and click on Free Splunk. Log in with your account and scroll down to the Splunk Universal Forwarder Download section. Click on Download Now. Select Linux and use Download Now of .tgz package. We don't have to download the actual package, we will use wget command line. Copy the wget command and run in the virtual machine to download the Splunk Universal Forwarder. Extract the Splunk forwarder files to OPT location. Change your directory to op slash splunk forwarder slash bin and run slash splunk start accept license to start the splunk forwarder. Give an admin username and password. Don't forget the password as this is needed to configure splunk forwarder settings. This is different from actual splunk server admin account and password. Run the command slash splunk enable boot start to have splunk forwarder enabled at startup. Now if we go back to main splunk web portal we don't see any indexed files and no data summary. This is because we have not told the splunk forwarder to which splunk server it has to forward the data. Run the command as shown in screen to enable forwarding.
go to settings, forwarding and receiving, give the port number 9997 under receiving port and save it. don't see any data indexed. We are not done yet. We have to tell the forwarder which files needs to be monitored and forwarded to the main index. We will use some log files under slash bar location. Follow the commands on the screen. Are you thinking why still we don't see the data indexed? This is because we have to open the firewall port for 9997 in both the Splunk forwarder and Splunk main server. Follow the commands as per the instructions. I have opened the firewall port 8089 also which is used for deployment. We will see about this in next tutorial. You can see the index count and data source. The source file is yum.log file. We will try to add another log file for monitoring and forward to the main index. How cool is that? Now you can see two data sources and more log files are indexed. Now you can do the search in search app, create your own query to filter the contents. for watching. If you like the video kindly subscribe to my channel and give thumbs up.